What's up everybody? This is Zach Hamblett, Rogers Center in Toronto for the second time this season. And today is a really special day. It's another Watch With Zach game. The third one this week that I've done. Just did Cleveland and Detroit, so make sure you check out those videos if you haven't seen them. And these are the guys that I'm hanging out with all day today. This is Blair, this is Ollie, and you guys are from Canada, right? We are, we're from Port Moody, which is in British Columbia, just outside of Vancouver. Cool, and so the Blue Jays are in fact your favorite team? Alrighty. So, it's also a special day because my hometown Yankees are in town. They're not my favorite team. I don't actually have a favorite team, but I don't see them too often on the road. So, I'm just looking forward to showing you guys the ridiculous performance that Aaron Judge puts on during batting practice. The Yankees will probably already be on the field when we enter. Gates are just 90 minutes early here. So, let's get on inside and make the most of it. Okay, so here's the situation. We got a couple lefties in this group, Didi Gregorius, Brett Gardner. So it seems like right field is the place to be, but it's already very crowded after just a few minutes. I have Ollie and Blair set up all the way at the end of the section next to the batter's eye so they can get a toss up. I'm gonna hang here for a few minutes and try to get a home run. Judge Show is officially underway, and this group also has Gary Sanchez, Todd Frazier, possibly Matt Holliday as well, so there should be a lot of balls flying up this way. The Yankees really live up to their nickname, the Bronx Bombers. jumping off Judge's bat. You can tell that it's him, not just because he's so huge, but because the exit velocity, it's just ridiculous. And my man down here snagged a Gary Sanchez home run. Look at that. His dad almost caught it, and it ricocheted right down to him. Perfect. came from a random toss up from below but I'll take it on the board down there at the Yankees dugout to close out batting practice. We had gotten two baseballs during BP up in the second deck in left field. This guy snagged the only home run between us today. Gary Sanchez ricocheted down to him. Beautiful snag. Awesome hand-eye coordination. And then down here in foul territory after BP, we got three toss-ups between the two of us. There was a bullpen catcher who tossed us two, and then a coach on the Yankees flipped one up as well. So the official tally is I've gotten three of the balls, Ollie's gotten to five total, you can see him right here. That's pretty solid for this stadium, which is tough for batting practice, the way it's configured. And of course, it's more crowded with the Yankees. People come to see Aaron Judge. The man is a beast. He hit two balls off the Jumbotron. He also hit one way up off the hotel. He hit this little uh, electronic board where they have a clock. Incredible, six foot seven, 280 pounds. My mind is just blown every time I see him. And I live in New York, I see him all the time. So just have a little time to relax before the game starts, maybe a pregame game toss up, and then we'll take it from there. It's 
the fifth inning right now, and lots of stuff has been happening. The Blue Jays are winning three to nothing, and their starter, Marco Estrada, is in cruise control, pitching a gem. Ollie, meanwhile, snagged a third out ball. I got a shaky shot of it with my iPhone because my videographer, Brandon, was actually up in the upper deck getting some shots, and he was still on his way down. But basically, it's the ball that ended the third inning, a Justin Smoke strikeout pitched by Sonny Gray, and it was tossed up by Gary Sanchez. So three really good players involved in that ball, his third of the day, so that six combined for us. And in case you're wondering, Aaron Judge has walked, hit a double down the left field line, and taken a call third strike. as his teammates failed to get it done in the ninth inning. So it's a final here in Toronto. Four nothing, that's your score. Marco Estrada with seven scoreless innings. There was one home run tonight. Jose Bautista drilled that one to left field. And just what a great game, what a great night overall. Nearly a packed house, more than 43,000 fans in attendance. And we combined for eight baseballs. Now my fourth of the day was tossed up by Gary Sanchez, the Yankees catcher, after the eighth inning. A third out ball, Stephen Pierce strikeout. And then after the game, I got number five tossed to me by Jerry Meals, the home plate umpire. So Ollie finished with three, I got five, eight total. This guy, unfortunately, didn't get anything, but he helped make this day possible. So thank you, great hanging out, congrats to you. He snagged the only home run that we got during the course of the day, the Gary Sanchez home run up in the second deck in left field. So, amazing times in Toronto. I love coming here. It's always so crowded though, that's an added difficulty. And by the way, this is the 50th Watch With Zach game that I've ever done. Not all of them have been filmed on YouTube, of course, but just wanted to throw that number out there. If you're interested in doing a Watch With Zach game, check the description below this video. I'll put a link there to some FAQs. Make sure you read those before you get in touch. Thanks for watching.